<laughs> hey guys, um, what the f- oh my gosh. Anyways guys, um, welcome to the Zombie Guy Again video, something I put off so many times, and I guess I finally should, I finally should make it the video. Well, it's gonna probably be hard if I have these little gremlins, oh my gosh, bro, these guys are so annoying. I'm also tired of these guys. Like, these stupid Millennium. Millennials. Like, I get it. I've been using Millennium a lot. But they're so annoying. Like, when, I, when other people use it, bro, they're so annoying. They're so annoying when they use it, bro. Because all they do, they don't even really even give you, like, a good fight, you know? All they do, they back up and just start throwing that crap at you, you know? They back up. They use their little... And then when you start to get try to get close to them, do you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna use the little psychic move, use their second move, second move as well, and then boom, knock back. You get hit back, and then boom, your day is ruined. It's so annoying. See, they just spam that. Like, how am I supposed to beat that? Like, they're so annoying. I don't play I, when I use Millennium. Everything. I don't play like that. No, I go in f straight for that damage. Unless, like, I'm about to die, I'll back up a bit, just regen. But that's it, bro. I don't play like that, no. I go in for the damage. Like, I don't fight like a little child. I actually... Like, I, when I play this and everything, I'd actually give people at least a fair fight. Not just a fight. Now it will just be extremely annoying for them. My goodness, bro. Of course, yeah. See, this is why I've been putting off this video so much. Whenever I play Zombie Guy again, people target me just so they know I can't get any living dead. And then, yeah. I'm gonna have to switch servers for this. Oh my gosh, it's lag. See, this is why I can't... This is why I haven't been making this video. Because of how people just treat Zombie Guy again now. But whenever there's someone else using Zombie Guy again, they, people play like idiots. Let them get. Let them turn them infected, and then boom. Boom. We just have a Zombie Guy again going around unkillable. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, let me just. Give me a sec. So, zombie guy game. A force to reckon with. Very powerful. If you if you let this thing get close to you, they're gonna just start wailing on you with one and two. See, zombie guy game's little ability is well right here, the little living dead. He gets iframes and everything like that. When he infects someone, you get one living dead. You know? And when you're infected, it's not like how it used to be. How it used to be, you would just have, like, depending on how much health your card you had, the thing, it. Alright, listen. Alright, back in the day, it would make you, I think, stronger. I don't know. It would. The infection, you could still attack the zombie that infected you. Or thing, you know? The infection was only around for a little bit, then they sh then they shortly removed it. But whenever you infected someone, they would either get less or more HP, depending on how much HP that kaiju had. So like if if a kaiju's max HP was like something like something like two thousand, their health would be like three thousand or two hundred. So you know, sometimes it could be a buff, and sometimes it could be a nerf. I didn't know what, I don't really remember what Elsa Infection did, but yeah. And yeah, for some reason I could k still kill him. Anyways, when you infect someone, you don't get really, you don't get 
XP for attacking them. You would have to hit them with your beam for you to get XP. And now, the beam. Yeah, gotta tell you something. If you thought being able... Alright, listen. When you infect someone, living dead, what living dead does, well, let me tell you something. You literally can become invincible. Alright? So, it will literally, like, if someone gets you and everything very though, you'll be at 1 HP, but no one can do damage for, to, to you for, like, 60 seconds or something. It's extremely annoying. Like, shoot. If a zombie guy can his max damage, good luck. Because, like, these things are also very fast. You know? And, yeah. You see, it isn't like those regular zombies that just walk. No, these things will go at you at max 5 or something. You know, yeah. Anyways, so like, so like, say it's a close battle. You're at a thousand health. You finally think you're gonna kill this zombie guy again because it's extremely low. One hit. Wait a second. Why didn't I kill it? It's at one HP. And you know what happens? You get infected. And then they can attack you, but you can't attack back. It is very annoying. Alright. Now on to the beam. The beam, well, what it does, whenever you beam someone, it kind of just regens your health. I mean, I know the beam looks like fecal matter, but that fecal, fecal matter, yeah, it's a deadly. Not only does a beam, is a beam strong, you know, it also will heal you. But yeah, if you're stuck at 1 HP, a zombie guy again, or thing, because, yeah, the better, if you use a beam on someone, I mean, it kind of nerfs you, you know? Yes, it will heal you up, but then they can kill you, actually. It won't put you at 1 health again. So, if you're at 1 HP, maybe not... You Maybe using your beam, you know, thing isn't that smart of an idea. You know, I know this video hasn't had much fighting involved, but, you know... This server is really overpowered. And let me just kill this guy and show you. How annoying it is. Here, let me show- Oh dang, I already killed him. But yeah, he can't hit, hit me anymore. Wherever he is. Yeah, see that? See that? Regen. Almost all the- The thing is, I've realized something. Almost every single Halloween kaiju, kaiju has a move that can regenerate their health. Quark Muta, one of his roars, Interesting when he uses the old blood, you can regen health. Voodon, you using one of the potions is health regen. Yeah, it helps a lot. Well, I mean, it's not that helpful anymore because you can't. Like how I used to play, I would drop out of Scott and use the health potion, you know, and heal and then come back. Anyways, that might be it for this video, guys. Um, I know it wasn't much, and yeah. But there's other content I'm working on. I'm gonna get the next schedule I'm gonna be covering is probably gonna be Turkey Rodan, maybe Kamaldolf. E I don't know. See ya. Also, guys, I forgot to add to the video. This is like after editing. So, um. Um. Yeah. Also, Zombie Gigan is a good kaiju. It is worth it. I mean, I would say it's mid, but it's pretty good, I guess. Anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. See ya.